sorry, um, I won't be in today. Well, my son's ill and I need to take care of him. Well, I don't know, for as long as it takes. Bye. Mum, look, I don't want you getting aggro, you know, just cos of me, just going to work. Mm, don't be daft. Don't give the monkeys what they think of me, you know that. More toast? Yeah, it's all right, though. I'll... You sit there. Mum, I'm not an invalid, you know. To what you've been through, you need some proper rest. So, let me know what you want for your lunch. We've got plenty in. Just something from Chippy will do. Don't mind cooking. You mean you don't want to leave me on my own? It's all right, Mum. I'm not going to do anything silly. Yeah, well, I never thought you'd... Well, um, I was going to pop out anyway. Maybe pick up some magazines, some DVDs. Yeah, honestly, anything's fine. So, let me know what you fancy. Nothing mucky, mate. Sorry. No, come on. You've not to be sorry for. Oh, yes, I have. I should never have let things get as far as they have. Well, I won't let you down again. Half eight. I wish to get up then, eh? You're right. Are you? You slept well enough. Yeah, well, there was no alternative, was there? I didn't even close my eyes. They always hoped to be kept awake on my wedding night. Just didn't figure on it being down to your brother. Yeah, well, then more fool you. Yesterday it was a stunt. If you can't see No, that... I can't. He drove his car into the flaming canal. Do you really think he did that for a laugh? Yeah, I do, actually. Anyway, I told you. He admitted it. No, you said he smiled. Yeah, and I know that smile. Better than anyone. You want a coffee? I'm fine. How's David doing? Is he all right? Do you really care, Maria? Of course I do. Audrey, I feel terrible about what's happened. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sure you yeah. are. But, Maria, how could you be so daft as to keep quiet about oh, that note? Don't. I've been asking myself that. I think I just took the easy option. Yeah, well, I don't suppose it's the hardest thing in the world to think the worst of David. Yeah, well, even so, I was stupid. I never would have forgiven myself if it had... Yeah, I know, I know. You wouldn't have been on your own. Anyway, the thing is now we've got to look forward. We've got to help him through this, which is not going to be easy. You, will, you know that I'll do anything I can to help him. And Sarah. Sarah? Yeah, well, she must feel awful about all this as well. And the wedding day was ruined. I am sorry, Maria. I am not wasting any of my tears on Sarah. Her behaviour was shocking. It was unforgivable. I nearly lost my grandson because of that. Yeah, I know you did. No, but... no buts, Maria. You save your sympathy for David, right? Besides, Sarah's got a husband now to take care of her. Thank you very much. Okay. Look at this, Jace. Honestly, I've got the full works, proper fry up. I'm not hungry. Oh, don't say that. I've got them to do fried bread for you, especially. How can you sit there talking about fried bread? You're scaring me, Sarah. <laughs> well, come on, just try a little bit. No, I don't want any, all right? I know David's bad news, and yet you're all hyped up about the wedding, but you crossed the line yesterday. When we made them vows, they could have been fishing your brother out the canal. Oh, how many times? I knew they weren't. I told you it was one of his games I was right. Yeah, and even if that's true, you never knew that for sure, especially not in church. Are you 
you saying that we should have got married? Because if you were just looking for another toilet window, Jason, all you oh, had to don't do was be so say. Ridiculous, eh? We shouldn't have carried on yesterday and we shouldn't be here now. So we ought to go home and help your mum. She's been there enough times for us. Oh! Well, like yesterday. David whistled, she come running on the biggest day of my life. What is up with you, eh? I'm going for a shower. Didn't feel right being away after what's happened. Just thought you might need us here. It's very thoughtful of you. Oh, yeah, it's all that. Pity he don't care about me half as much as he does David. Oh, for goodness sake, Sarah, grow up. The whole world doesn't revolve around you, least of all now. Oh, Gran, you don't have to tell me that. Wouldn't even centre stage at my own wedding. Is that all you think about? Your brother... What's going on? I just heard... Some arguing and it won't me up. Oh, it's nothing, my love. You get back up them stairs and have a kip. Go on. Is there anything you need? Well, I can think of a few things. Just a cup of tea would be nice, please. So right, I'll stick the kettle on. How are you feeling, Dave? Uh, I'm all right, thanks. Well, soon got his feet back under the table, I see. And that's where they're staying. His place is here. Should have got Mum to do that for you. Should have put it in a glass with a bit of ice. A little umbrella. Took it up to you on a silver tray. You know, if I didn't know how worried you were about me, Sarah, I'd say you were bitter. Bitter doesn't even begin to cover it. So you might have conned everybody else, not me. You haven't got the guts to even consider killing yourself. Maybe not, but I had the brains, didn't I? To ruin your wedding day, just like I said I would. Yeah, not quite. See, you said the wedding wouldn't happen. It did. Me and Jace, we got married. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah, well, congratulations. Let's just hope it lasts. I'll do that. I've done it. Besides, as to what we packed, we didn't use. No way. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking. If you'd like to see a counsellor, I'd be happy to pay. Mm, what? I don't know, really. You know, just everything. Yeah, there's no rush. Just something for you to think about. Thanks. I'm the one who needs counselling after everything that happened. Oh, well, not again. Can you try to be a little less selfish, please? Be selfish? Just make an affair. Listen, we came back. It doesn't mean I have to like it. No, you too. I mean, I am really sorry for causing all this trouble, you know, like spoiling your honeymoon and that. And the wedding? Yeah, well, it can't be open. It flaming could have. I'm going for some fresh air. This has to stop. Now. I can't believe you're acting so spoilt. Sarah, don't fall out over me, okay? Hey, you couldn't uh, carry some plates with on the way, could you? <laughs> oh, she ain't got much of a sense of humour, your missus, has she? Yeah, that's because his missus hasn't got a lot to smile about the moment. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I wish I'd do Oh, for God's sake. Why does everyone keep having to ask about him? What have I said now? Nothing. Can we have two coffees when you're ready, Becky? <laughs> Can you stop snapping everyone? Everyone keeps asking about him. He should be congratulating us. Babes, you're going to have to stop thinking about him. How can I? He's in my face all the time. Oh, I can't believe my mum's giving him his ring back. Well, where else is he supposed to stay? She was dead excited about being in a room. Mm. Oh, Chase, we're going to have to move out, get a place for our own. With what? I'm not working, remember? Well, he's done a great job, and he's even blocked our means of escape. Oh, I am sick of this. Why does everything have to come back to him? Because it does, Jace. Oh, look, I'm not in the mood. Let's just go 
go home. I don't want coffee now. Well, I do. It took me half an hour to get here. Well, fine. Have two. Look who's come to see you. Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, are you stopping for a bit? Because uh, if you are, I'll take Beth and do some shopping. She just wants someone to stand over at knives. Just thought you'd like a bit of company, that's all. I can stay as long as you like. Great. Come on then, Beth. Is your coat in the hall? Yeah. OK. Um, I've got my mobile, if you need me. Go on, love. Imagine ringing me mum if you felt depressed. That'll make you want to top yourself, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, how are you feeling, anyways? I don't know, really. Yesterday I felt like jumping out of a window. Today I thought, nah, I just use the door. Right. Listen, do you think, you know, you could make us a cup of tea, something like that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And, like, maybe some toast and that? Yeah. There's someone else running around with you now. She just hates me for ruining her wedding. I can't say I blame her, really. So, uh, have you some of that at home yet? You know he's not. You see, I can understand you being mad at me, Sarah, so what, why can't he? He does. Is that why he's avoiding he's you? He's not avoiding me. Right. I reckon they'll last a month, if that. I better get back. I've got to help me dad in the shop. Yeah, right, and see you. Uh, see you out. How did he seem to you? Uh, just like always. Not depressed or anything. Not really. Yeah, he's putting on a front. That's the problem. Why? Well, you don't think he'll do it again, do you? No. No. Of course he won't. No. Okay. Thanks for coming. He finally decided to come home then. Yeah, I went for a drink with our kid. It's allowed, isn't it? Well, you could have told me. Right, like you told me before you went running to me, ma'am. We'll discuss it later. No, we'll talk about it now. Why do you speak to me, mum, about staying there? Because it's the only other option. You could have spoke to me first. Because I knew you'd say no. Look, you two, I mean, I'll understand if you want to move out. No, we don't. You know what? You're doing me heading with all this! Uh, sorry. It's just, uh, well, we're off now. Yeah, I'm coming. Right, so, uh, see you then. Yeah, see you. Look, shall I make you a cup of tea? Or? Shut up! What do you reckon? What did you make that by yourself? There's a competition for the fireworks. They're gonna judge all the guys and we wanna win, don't we think? Yeah. She needs some clothes, obviously. She? Yeah, it's a girl. Well, guy Fox were a guy, I mean, clues in his name. So? So, you're gonna have the leader of the gunpowder plot in a dress? Maybe he was a cross-dresser. They weren't mentioned in any history lesson I ever had. Anyway, the blokes dressed like women in them days. Will you two come and get your breakfast? Come on, Finn, we'll finish it later. There we go. Oh. I'm going to do fireworks. Oh, I don't know, sweetheart. We'll have to ask your mummy. Please. <laughs> mm. It's not like you. Mm. Fine by me. Mm. Right, OK. The mark on the dress is here, so make sure they see it, OK? No, OK. Now, you won't forget, will you? No, I won't forget. Oh, uh, I can take it if you like. Save Jason Trapes in. No, it's all right, I don't mind. Let's go for me rehab. Walk into the precincts and back. Oh, and tell them I want it back quick as. Why, are you going to wear it at the salon? No, we're organising a new set of photos cos we're not happy with the ones we've got. He did take photos, though, didn't he? Mm, yeah, yeah, we got some really lovely ones. One of the police at the back of the church. Jason with his arm round me, looking totally freaked. Yeah, we just want one or two we might actually be able to put in an album. And you and Graham weren't there, so we thought, you know, maybe you could come too. That's lovely. Thank you. So what do you reckon about the fireworks? Are we up for it? Oh, I think 
So, or well, should we get a little box and just let them off in the garden? No! <laughs> Let's all have a night out, eh? We can go to the Italian afterwards, my treat. I don't think so. Oh, come on, indulge me. I want my whole family to have a night out. Everybody included, nobody left out. Come on, what do you say? <laughs> Fine by me. Great. David, you up for it? Uh, yeah, sounds great, doesn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> Result. Mm. I just thought I might fancy a sandwich. Because my mum put you up to this. I'll keep an eye on him, see if you can get him to open up. No, eat your sign in silence if you want. In fact, I might prefer it. Oh, God. That's what I think it is. What? What is that, sir? What's it doing here? Look, this, um, queue's massive, innit? I've, I've got to get this back for our Sarah, anyhow. I'll, I'll see you in a bit, on the. David, wait! Oh, what? Don't push me away! Well, then, don't try following me about. I know you're hurting. So she has been speaking to you then? Well, she doesn't need to. I can see it with my own eyes. You're really unhappy and bottling it up and pushing me away won't help. You finished? Yeah. So is it my turn now to play amateur shrink? You don't have to make everything into a joke. Well, I'm not. Look, I'm pouring my heart out here and sharing my deepest thoughts. And? Look, me and you, we both know that all this it's just an excuse for you to get close to me. And why would I do that? Well, because you got the hots for me. <laughs> Come on, you know it's true. If you think that, then you definitely need treatment. You are deluded. You want putting in a straitjacket and locking up? I struck a raw nerve, Amber. I am trying to be a friend. So let's face it, you have not got many. Stick them on her arms. You may now kiss the bride. No way. Go on, I dare you. I'll give you a tenner if you do it. Uh, Fifteen pounds. What are you looking at? David? Is everything all right? Or is that a silly question? Uh, well, no. I feel like everything's changed. Has it? Well, people are watching me and judging me. I think like I'm under 24-hour surveillance. Well, I think people are worried about you. I think that's understandable. Well, if they were worried about me, you know, they'd talk to me. But they don't. They don't come anywhere near. And even the people that didn't think I was a weirdo think so now. Well, they think that you're troubled and sad. Well, even Amber looks at me with pity, Mum, and I don't want a pity. I don't want anyone's. We want to show that we care about you. We love you. And we don't want to lose you. Hey, up. How'd you get on at the Aussie? Yeah, just a few more days on these. Oh, bummer. Oh, you are never still hungry. Where's the bag? What bag? I left a bag on this chair. Did you? Yeah, it was right here, blue carrier. Well, no one's handed out in. Please don't mess. This is dead important. I'm not messing. Why? What were in it? Sarah's wedding dress. She will absolutely murder me if I've lost it. Well, what's a big panic? You're already itched. It will be the shortest marriage in history if I've lost that dress. <gasps> well, what are you carrying it round for, Sado? <laughs> I was meant to take it to the cleaners, wasn't I? Hey? You've got it, haven't you? You're winding me up. 
I swear, I haven't seen it. Yeah, I can remember now that you had it, but nobody's handed out in. Well, it's got to be here somewhere. Hey, you! I say, you'll do yourself a mischief. Sit down, right? I'll look. Becky, I've got to find that dress. All right. All right. Are we going to walk or get a taxi? Well, I don't mind walking. Fine, you walk, we'll get a taxi. It's going to be cold out there. Can't we call a truce for Mum's sake? Well, whatever we're doing, can we do it quick, please, or else we'll miss the start? Right, just be a minute. Oh, babes, did you uh, take my dress to the cleaners? Yeah. Cool. You know, I was looking at it in the calf this morning, thinking how gorgeous it was. Oh. Is it, uh, well, was it expensive? Well, it weren't cheap. Yeah, right, because it didn't look very cheap. But is it when I'm watching call it's one-offs? Hmm. Yeah, good sure. Alexander McQueen made it for me. And has he got one of them shops in town? I'm joking, it's from Debenhams. Uh, can we go, please, or else it won't be worth going? Come on. Right. Okay. Come on, you, trouble. Oh, but... Here's good. Hey, Jerry. Hi, yeah. Hey, Kayleigh and Finn have won the competition for the best guy. Oh, well done. Congratulations. Yeah, apparently it was, what, dazzling and, and different. Wow, where is it then? It's on the bump for you. Oh, yeah? Look at that bonfire, Beth. Isn't it amazing, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's an ugly-looking guy. Hey, Jason, that looks like my wedding dress. Can't be. Jason. Well, it's not, is it? Um, babe. Well, are you telling the truth? Yeah, I was with him. And it costs a lot of money. Well, it's the most expensively dressed guy since the history of bonfire night. Sorry. You can share our sweets with him. Oh, I want me dress back. Look, I'm sorry about this, but my kids aren't liars. They wouldn't have done it deliberately. Well, a hundred pound wedding dress on a bonfire. You got something to do with this? No. It's my fault. Your fault. Yeah, I didn't take it to the cleaners, did I? So what? You just gave it to the neighbours and said, here, put it on the guy! I don't know how it ended up here. I left it in the cafe at dinner time. I went to the hospital, I came back and it was gone. Somebody must have found it and thought it was there to be chucked out. When I asked you, you told me you took it to the cleaners. I lied. I tried to buy time to get you another one, and I am going to buy you another one. I will get you the most beautiful, expensive designer dress in the whole world, OK? Do you hear that, Mum? Not even married a week and already he's lying to me. Sarah, wait! Sure. <laughs> How is her? Well, he's not his usual self. Ah! Oh. <laughs> well, you say that like it's a bad thing, that. <laughs> Hello, my love. Hello, sweetheart. Want some breakfast? No, not really hungry, to be honest. Oh, well, you should have something, David. I'll put some toast on you. I hardly ate yesterday. How are you feeling? Well, I'm not ill, Gran. No, I know. Well, stop badgering him, ma'am. I just asked how he was. Well, I'm fine, OK? I'm not going to stick my head in the microwave. And I was wondering if maybe I could come back to work or something. Oh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. But I'm all right. There's nothing wrong with me. Actually, girl, you know, that might not be such a bad idea to help get back to normal. I mean, maybe just part-time to begin with, eh? See how we go, right? Yeah, that's fine. Right, I'll go jump in the shower, then. Oh. Hope it's not too much for him. It's a hair salon, girl, not a fire station. Mind you, I don't relish having to tell Sarah. See you later. See, Jason says that he left the dress in Roy's Rolls, but the chaps next door swear that they found the dress in a bag of old clothes. Oh. How did it get there? That's what I want to know. Well, it certainly is a mystery. Don't be sarcastic about it. It wasn't. Uh, uh, now, come on, Sarah, love it. Come on. I know you've had a rotten time of it lately, my darling, but you've got to put it behind you. 
Yeah, yeah, you're right, it's not that bad. I mean, it's only my wedding dress that went up uh, in flames. Yeah, OK, just a minute, please, just a minute. Now, I wanted to choose my time to tell you this, but, well, you're not going to like it much whenever I tell you. What? David wants to come back to work. Here? Well, yes, I mean, this is where he was, isn't it? After what that little freak's done to me? Do you know, I bet it was even him that took me wedding dress oh, and all. Oh, Sarah, come on, you can't keep blaming him for everything. Oh, yeah, he's been through a lot. And he does seem to have changed after what's happened. Changed? That little psycho is responsible for every single misery that... Sarah! He nearly killed himself. Oh, I wish. Sarah! Oh, that little cry for help was just to ruin my big day. Why does nobody see that? All right, enough's enough. Now, come on. Oh, I'm the one that's had enough. Now, please, my darling, calm down. Do you know what, Gran? It's fine. Just have him back. Because the place will be burnt down to the ground within a month. <sighs> Look, I'm going for good. Bacon butchers to go. Don't gobble them, you'll get indigestion. <sighs> Perish the thought. Ignore her. Yours is over there, sweetheart. Cheers, girl. I shouldn't have made you swap with Beth last night. She practically kicked me to death. Yeah? Look, if you think I'm going off the deep end... If? Well, I'm going back to the salon. And I'm going to get an evening job as well. Well, I thought you said yeah, you were going to... Yeah, I said a lot of things, but... We need the money, it's a no-brainer. Well, you'll be knackered, won't you? Yeah, but it's be worth it. The sooner we get out of here, the sooner we can get away from the psycho. I don't care for that term, thank you very much. It's fine, Mum. Oh, please. Mum, how do you not fall for that? Right, well, the psycho's getting off. There was no call for that. Oh, great news on the job, Sarah. Oh, brilliant, Sarah. Yeah, it is. Just lay off your brother. Yeah, so I'm thinking, like, a two-bed flat or two up, two down, you know, just something that's us. Something that's me, Beth, Jason. You're so going to stink of garlic. Ah, I don't care, I still love me. <laughs> <laughs> Does David have to do all the dogs, buddy? Well, do you expect us to let him loose on real-life customers with real-life hair? There's no shame in sweeping up. A job's a job. Your Oscar's in the post. Wow, you spoke to me. It's a one-off. Have you just come to check they've not killed each other yet? No. Yes. <laughs> well, they've been fine, actually. Been more than fine. Good. I would expect no less. Yeah, unless he's right in front of me. I just pretend he's not here. Oh. Works a tree. Sarah, grow up. Well, is having two jobs growing up enough for you, Mother? Leanne's giving me some shifts at the restaurant. It's fancy footwork. Mm. Evenings and weekends, you know, as and when. Fine. Long as you can cope. I can always cope. Not much choice in this family. Tea, okay? I feel like cooking. Uh, yeah? As long as you remember me mushy peas and gravy. <laughs> it's been the same since you were about seven years old. Oh, yeah, seven. And a full set of Ninja Turtles, then. <laughs> and half a set of teeth. Oh, steady on, mother. Street cred and oh, that. Oh, stuff street cred. How was work? Really? Well, you saw for yourself, didn't you? It went all right. Still a little bit worried about Sarah, though. She giving you a hard time? Well, no, I think she's pretending to handle me being there 24-7. What can you do, though? I mean, I need that job, Mum. Of course you do. She'll just have to let bygones be bygones. Yeah, that'd be the day, wouldn't it? Anyhow, don't get on a case about her, because I reckon she is trying her best. You'll be wanting to tell him about your brilliant minimum wage new job. Eh? Wonder where he is? Library? Church? Pub? <laughs> Looks like he's spending it faster than you can earn it. Scumbag. Who do you say? Nightmare! Come here. Mmm. Mmm. Let's go upstairs, eh? No! Shh! Wake everyone up! Hey, hey, hey! Oh. If your mum comes down, I'll die. If my mum comes down, shh! 
chill, Dad. <laughs> Come here, Mrs. Grimshaw. Oh, mister. Whatever will your wife say? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's getting boring, this. I'm like some old codger or something. Oh, just think, hey, when we're old and grey, hobbling down roads together. I'm romantic. Nah, you're all right. I'll trade you in for some younger model when you're about 30. Oh, gee. <laughs> Ow. Let's see you try. Oh, poor Jace. His knee was killing him this morning. Well, he's not exactly rushing back to work, is he? What are you saying? Oh, Davey, don't start. Look, he wakes up when he wants. He sticks on a bit of fill and firm. Cafe for elevens is. No, it's not his fault. Rovers for lunch. Oh, back to Roy's for tea. Yeah, well, he'll be back at work as soon as he can. Yeah, that's one thing you've got to say about Jace. He's a grafter. Oh, you know, darling, I'm so glad you're getting on better, you oh, two. All the lovely things he said to me last night. Just made me remember why I wanted to marry him in the first place. Oh! <laughs> Do you know the one thing that just could make it perfect? Ah, uh, now, please don't tell me you're planning another baby. Oh, grand, no, of course not. No, I want him to adopt Bethany. I just think we'd be like a proper family then. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Yeah. Hey, Bethany Grimshaw. That sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, so sweet. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> you all right? You can sit here if you want. Nah, I don't want to cause any more trouble. What do you mean? Well, you know, you've got to be loyal to Sarah and I don't blame you, I understand that. Well, it doesn't mean you can't talk to me. Well, look, all I want to say is that I'm sorry, you know, for what I did. It was selfish and I didn't have a thought for either you or Sarah on your wedding day. Yeah, well, you must have been in the right state, eh? Couldn't cope, really. Anyhow, I shouldn't be laying any of this on you. It's all right, it's fine, honest. Well, you know, like that day when I was in the war? Yeah. It's as though I was forced, you know, to make a choice. And I chose to live, sort of. Changed everything. I'll be with you in a minute, Cog. Yep. Now then, you. Here's your fry up, just the way you like it. Oh, cheers, Bex. Have you got any um, ketchup and brown sauce? Flipping it, shall I you a great while I'm here? No, Ty, I don't like fruit. How much <laughs> are you, love? Um, five pound ten. I can't give you no more discount now. Your wonky legs come right. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to chuck myself off that scaffold again, <laughs> eh? There you go. Cheers. Ta. There you are. Right, you won't forget you've got to put Beth's bookcase up today. No. So when are you going to do it this morning? Probably, yeah. Right, and when you finish, can you have a hoover around our room? It's not been cleaned for ages. Right, and can you put this washing in the machine and get it dried? Because I've got nothing to wear for my shift at the restaurant tonight. Can I have my breakfast first, please? Will that, um, washing one ironing? Actually, there is a top I could do with ironing. This one. Anything else need doing? Well, you are at home all day. Mm. I would never complain about going out to work ever again. You should count yourself lucky. Most women work and do housework. You of? Yeah. Only nine hours since I clocked off. Ooh, won't last for it. Mm. I love you too. Mm. See you in a bit. Don't forget the washing. <coughs> Fancy game, Jess. And you got a job to go to? Hey, off. Yeah, well, I can't. I've got too much to do. Gail, what number do these go on? What are they? Delicate? Sarah's clothes. Oh, 40. Come here. Right, when they're dried, they'll put them outside. <laughs> Not in this way, they know. Put them on here and then iron them while they're still damp. Oh, no. What? It's a summons. What for? For driving without a licence or insurance. Well, when did you do that? Oh, right, yeah. When's it for? Well, that's not the point. Haven't I been through enough already? And now they want to punish me for it as well. It seems every time, Mum, that I'm putting it behind me, something happens to drag me back. Well, maybe Jason could give you a game after all, eh? I've got the bookcase to do yet. Well, it's not going to take all day, is it? Still fancy that game, David? Come on. Can't say no to that. Yeah, go on, then. See you later. See ya. Right, which one am I? Well, why don't I be the good guy for a change? 
Yeah. Right, that's it now. <laughs> Just because you're losing. David, we've had about three games already. We've still got loads of stuff to do for Sarah yet. Do you think there'll be a jury at this thing? No, you'll just be with the magistrate's court. You'll get a fine, points on your licence, that'll be it, mate. Well, they're already fining me for not having a licence. So what, they're going to put points on? Well, when you do get one, then, you'll be in and out in ten minutes. Would well, you think they'll make allowances? For, you know, like, me being out of it when it happened. Maybe. I was just really messed up, you know. Yeah, well, you must have been to do what you did. Yeah, but I, I really screwed up your big day as well, Jason. I'm sorry. Like you say, you weren't in your right mind, were you? Yeah. It just kept building and building. Have you ever felt like that? Not really, no. Well, it's strange, you know, the images that you think of in your head when somebody wanted you dead. Like Richard. It's hard to explain, but it's almost as though you feel guilty for being alive, you know? Well, you've no reason to, all right? Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense, though. I guess that's what mental damage does to you, you know? It's kind of crazy. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot my purse. <laughs> See you later. You know, David, if you've worked that out, maybe you can work out how to leave it behind you, eh? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, trouble is, people just look at you as are you some sort of freak. I try to be normal, but yet people just go, oh, it's David Platt, isn't it? The weirdo. You should just stay in your box that we put you in. Look, mate, this is all dead interesting, that, but, you know, I've got stuff to do. Can we talk about this later, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I know it's, you know, a bit tricky for you. Why? Well... You sat here talking to me when you know Sarah hates me. Well, she can't expect me to live under the same roof as you and not talk to you. <laughs> yeah, she can. Anyhow, don't worry, I'm not going to say all. Then again, there's not much point, is there? With my mum hearing us and that. Well, you can tell Sarah what you like. I've got nothing to hide. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, see ya. at work in 20 minutes. When's Jason gonna put my bookcase up? You mean he hasn't done it yet? No, it's still in the box. <sighs> Safe to come in? Eh? When he taps and he picks in all tiles replacing shelves. <laughs> no, you're all right. Oh, good. Mm. Well, in that case, I'll have one of them butties then, please. Yeah. Shouldn't you be working? Shouldn't you? Well, I'm on a break, so what's your excuse? Hey, I love. Do you want uh, coffee to go with that? Uh, no, you're all right. I'll take it with me. I've got loads of stuff to do for us, Sarah. OK. Cheers. You reckon you can do it, eh? Yeah, no problems. Fairly straightforward job. Oh, to you, maybe. Right, you two for a break. Yeah, I could murder one. Uh, two sugars for me, but... Right. You want one, you can make your own. Yeah, well, I don't. Got a drinking calf earlier. I saw Jason in there. So? So? Just saying. You were chatting to that Becky? Well, he's hardly going to ask for what he wants in sign language, is he? You know, she's a funny one, huh? She's got a right gob on her. Mm, I don't know why they employ her. She's not exactly customer friendly. Jason seems to think she's friendly. He's always chatting with her. Look, if you're trying to suggest something... I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just saying that's all. They get on. I mean, how they went to the pub together yesterday and... What do you mean they went to the pub? Well, yesterday did a job for her and after that they went for a drink. All right. I don't think they meant I'll buy it. I mean, he's not like that, is he? I never said he was. Right. Anyhow, you've just got married. I mean, he's not going to go looking at someone else, is he?
What you looking at? Nothing. Oh, I see. Don't you dare say anything. I wouldn't. Hiya. Yeah. You back? Yeah. Mm. Oh, you've been drinking? Yeah, just a couple. And Bill bought them. Right, so you with Bill? Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? No. Oh, Roger was there with Bill. Do you want a brew? Yeah, all right. I'll see you in three weeks. Okay. It's a quality haircut, that. What's that supposed to mean? It's called a compliment. Oh, when did you start dishing them out? I just thought it might cheer up. Well, then try leaving and never coming back. Now, was that called for? David, please. Well, granted, she's the one having a pop, and if it's not me, it's Jason. Oh, I'm warning you, don't even go there. Would you leave your sister alone, David, please? Grant, I'm sorry, but I come in here to get away from well, all nobody this. nobody asked you to stay. Well, I think you'll find Mum did. More fool her. Oh, Sarah, that is enough. What is the world's longest human-made structure? Is it... Great Wall of China. Great Wall of China, Dave. Is the correct... No answer. way you knew that. I'm a builder, aren't I? Mm, not as thick as David looks. Can you explain why you're getting a text from Becky? Because I sent her one earlier. Look, don't go off on one. I had to check she was OK after what happened before. Why what happened before? Shut up, David. So you're apologising for me now? Yeah, I do it all the time. Babes, I eat there and I work opposite. I haven't done anything wrong. Are you not still going on about the hair stuff? What are you say? None of your business! Can we just forget about it? Please. I don't like you texting her. Well, I won't then. Well, any other girls? You two kissed and made up yet? Mmm! Happy now? Yeah, my heart's bursting. Does that mean we're okay? If you want us to be. I do. Thanks. You're the best. Kiss. I have my moments. Two kisses. Nice one. It's too easy. <laughs> All right. I'm now seeing you. Oh. You know, I won't worry about what our Sarah says. Me? You mistake me with someone who gives a toss. It's just, she's only having a go at you about Jason because she's struggling with married life. And she told you that, did she? You're joking, aren't you? It's not exactly rocket science, is it? I mean, they're always at each other's throats. Yeah, well, none of my business, love. See ya. I just thought you might like to know. Sometimes, if I'm a bit weird about us and that, it's because I get scared sometimes and I can't help it. Tell you what, you work hard, you two, don't you? That's what you say, Gorge. Hey, I'm stuck with you. Yeah, damn right, yeah. <laughs> you can phone, text anyone you want. I've just been daft and uh, I'm over it now. Hey, do you hear that, David? I can text or phone whoever I want, can't I, babe? Yeah, anyone except him. You said I could text or phone whoever I wanted, mm. right? Right? Can he now? Excellent. Well, she's a good girl. They all are, in their way. So you must have done something, right? Mine, on the other hand. All right, David. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Tea and biscuits. You'll be getting best china out next.
He doesn't try to be obnoxious. It just comes naturally to him. Yeah, well, I must get it from somewhere, mustn't I? Right, then, have you got your dinner money? I don't know. Uh, have you given her a dinner money? No. It's in her bag. Is it in your bag? Oh, thanks, Mum. I'll give it you back. Ah, oh, it don't matter. Yeah, it does. We'll pay you back. Once the doc signs me back at work today, we'll pay you back every penny. That's what mums and grands are for. Well, you're still limping, aren't you? I'm fine. Pardon me for caring. Right, come on, cos you're going to be late for school. I'll see you later. Mm. 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 Never fear, the cavalry is here. It's about time. Hey, now I've only got one pair of hands. Yeah, you've only got one pair of lungs, too. Oh, don't start, Roy. You know you only smoke because it's stress. Hey, look, I understand your addiction to tobacco, but if you could limit your intake during our busiest periods, I would be grateful. I'll try, all right? Mm. Yeah. See you later. Ignore it. Bye, Jason. What was it there? Three, two, one, go. Do you know how long it takes a Premier League footballer to recover from this kind of ligament damage, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Four months minimum. Who is it? What? Text. No one. Did she give you free cakes? No. Did you get a discount? What is this? I thought you trusted me. How can I trust you? You've been sneaky with me all the time. Sarah, it's just a daft text. With three kisses? I am just saying she's got to be careful because rings date. Oh, my darling. Diamonds never date. Maria knows that. You look at Princess Diane at Sapphire. Who would choose a monster rock like that now? If you go too flash, get it wrong. It's a lifetime of regret. All oh, right, so that's why Jason didn't go so flash then. I always thought you liked the Christmas cracker look. <laughs> Jason doesn't own a half factory. Ah, he doesn't own a mobile at the minute either. Found that outside on Puff. Anyone could have picked it up. Thanks. Fiver says you won't last hour, Sarah. You know you'll read his text. Oh, now, don't be mean. Yeah, as if. We're not all paranoid, you know. Oh, not again. Can't you turn that blinking thing off? Uh, no, not really, Gran. Jason might phone it. But why on earth would anyone ring their own phone? To see if somebody else has found it. I'm amazed he manages a full day's work with all them texts. I mean, you're amazed he's got that many friends. Yeah, well, that as well. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You reading his messages? Thought you weren't the paranoid type. Yeah, I'm not. It might be something important. Jason, what's going on? Are you seeing her before the wedding? I'm not seeing her. Yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Like you said, she wants sending kisses with a text. Yeah, well, she didn't well, use to send Well, you know what? I've seen it for myself now, and it ain't a slip of the finger. It's every flaming time. What did you take me for? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. So while I'm slogging my guts out of the land road, you're sneaking off to a bail hostel. Hey, I am not sneaking out I anywhere. I am slogging my guts out so we can get a place of our own. What a mug. Sarah, just listen to me, please. Ah! I'm sorry, all right? Look, how many times do you want me to say it? I don't. Oh, at last he speaks. I 
because you're apologising for the wrong thing. And I've told you over and over again, I told you on our wedding day, when everyone's seen had left the church. You're the only one I love. Messages, sent box. Becky. Becky. Becky! Oh, I'm honoured. Sarah. Becky. Mum. Bill. Becky, Becky, Becky! Well, I've not sent that many texts. Just give it here. Look at the stuff you sent her. I like skinny blondes, exclamation mark, two kisses. Well, you're a skinny blonde and I don't remember sending that. I have my moments. I told you I never sent All it. All right, and why have you sent her that? Because she sent you. Thanks, you're the best. Yeah, best liar. I swear on Beth's life. Why don't you dare bring Beth into this. Well, you've got to believe me. Jason, the proof is staring you in the face. This must be a wind up because I never sent this stuff, all right? Well, who did then the phone fairy? I don't know. Becky, maybe she thought it'd be funny or I've done something to wind you up. Either way, she sent them texts to herself, right? From your phone? Well, she must have done it when my back was turned. I don't know. Uh, ah! Don't treat me like I'm stupid. Sarah, I wouldn't do that. Even if you haven't done anything. What do you mean, even if? But you've got to admit, it looks bad. I mean, this... Secret friendship. She with her. works in the calf, and I talk to her in the calf. Why well, sniffing the message? Shut, Shut up, David. David. I don't understand what you think so secret about it. She's got your number. I'm a builder. Half of Weatherfield have got my number. I'm a builder with a duff leg and a dodgy hand now. You don't send flirty text to half of Weatherfield. Who's been sending flirty texts? Jason, I'm going out my mind. You're going out your mind. How do you think I feel, eh? You know, I have told you till I'm blue in the face. I am not messing around. I swore on the most precious thing we've got. And do you believe me? No. I want to believe you. No, you don't. How can you? But Jason is there. He's in black and white. What am I supposed to think? For better, for worse. That's what you're meant to think. Don't text to his part. Oh, David. Jason, where are you going? I can tell you where I'm not going. Becky's. Will you believe me? I'm not really much of a close person. No, you need a change of image. Do it world of good. No, I don't think Trust so. Trust me. Have you uh, got time, Roy? It is noon, exactly. Ah. Are you going somewhere? No. Only that's the third time this morning. Yeah, my watch is broke. I thought I might buy myself a new one. You know, after Christmas. Oh, yes, yes. Well, there's always some bargains to be had in the sales, yes. Ready for Christmas? Well, there's plenty to look forward to before then. What do you think we're playing at? Who are you talking to? So I was just Yeah, do you see this? Yeah, it means he's married, right? So keep your scabby hands off. <laughs> Is she handsome or just mental? What, do you think I don't know you've been texting him all the time? Uh, I haven't. Uh, liar! What, do you think he's going to be interested in a mingle like you? Can we just keep this down a little, please? <gasps> You don't call me names like that and expect to keep your teeth. Well, what do I call a sad, desperate slag that's trying to steal my husband? Right, you. Outside. No, 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 no please. Help me! Hey, no, just no, no, You no. want to fight, right? Hey, no! Right, Roy, no. help me, please! No! No, Roy! No, 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 no. She's mental! No. Sorry, no, 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 no. you dare apologise to her. You want him that much, you have him. If you haven't already. You do know I didn't start that. I know it's the second time this week there's been an altercation between you and a customer. Right, she were a customer. She came in here looking for a row. And you were only too happy to oblige. <sighs> what do you expect Sarah to do when you keep sending me these daft texts? Oh, I haven't sent you any flaming texts. I've got them here. Give me that. Right. I didn't send these. Becky, it's your number. Oh, I'd lost my phone days oh, yeah. ago. How convenient, no, eh? No, Be Becky, Becky has mentioned this. And we, we, we've searched the premises. Yeah, I told you it'd been nicked. And assuming that this is the case, then I think you'll find the thief is the one behind the messages. So do I get an apology? Eh? Yeah. Sorry, Becky. 
how you got the nerve, my lad. This is all a big mistake, this. It's a mistake for marrying you. Are you going to let me explain or what? Oh, you and I got a little story worked out, have you now? She lost the phone days oh. ago. Oh, is that really the best you could do, Jason? I thought you got more about you than to behave like this, you Go know. Go on, ring it now. Ring it! <laughs> She's not going to answer, is she, when you tell her not to? You flaming muppet! No, listen, what, what are you? No, no, no! You little brat! Look, Jason, do you want to let me explain? <laughs> Wait, no. you really kill yourself, then? You're all a Do you want to get off of me? Come here. You are the nastiest little swine alive. What, you call me nasty? You just said you wanted me dead? Can you blame me? It's one psycho stunt after another with you. You just can't help yourself. How sick can you get? Nearly killing Beth, then faking your own suicide just so you can stop my wedding. And then you failed with that, so now you're trying to wreck my marriage. Well, I wasn't faking it, Sarah, all right? And everybody else can believe me. No, you don't fool me. You love yourself too much. Why on earth did you do it, David? Oh, how many times have we asked that question? Grant, I was just having a bit of fun, all right? And to be honest, it was better than what I expected. Did you know it was so easy to make you think Jason were copping off with Becky? I've told you before, Sarah. You don't need me to wreck your marriage. You can do that yourself. Right. David, out. And don't expect to get paid for today, either. You know what I'd say to him? The more you react, the more he likes it. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. I best get back to work. Some twisted little freak had gone out of his bed. Oh, that smells nice. Stick my dinner in the oven. I'm not sitting with him. Oh, well, good. I might actually get some gravy for a Shut change. Shut your face. Or you'll be wearing it in a minute. All right, Sarah, that's enough. What? I'm not allowed to get angry with him when he tries to break up my marriage? Oh, look, I was just mucking about, all right? I didn't know you and him were on a bad patch. There's nothing wrong with me and Jason. Nothing that you, your car and the canal wouldn't sort out. Sarah, just shut it, will you? The pair of... I'm just sick of listening to you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Mum. But he is nothing to me anymore. He's less than nothing. I don't know what you want from me, Mum. There's only so many times you can forgive someone. Well, I'm asking you to forgive oh, me. Oh, be quiet, David. This can't go on. I can't live like this any longer. It's not doing me any favours. Yeah, well, you know what door is. Oh, as if. I'm sorry, Sarah. I think it might be the only way. What? You two can't go on living under the same roof. Not without hacking great lumps out of each other. And I can't bear to watch it anymore. One of you's going to have to go. You can't be serious. I haven't done anything wrong. I can't chuck him out. Not after what's happened. And you've got a husband now. You've got someone to take care of. <sighs> this is mad. You're punishing me for what he's done. He is the one in the wrong. And what? You're rewarding him for it. Mum, you're letting him win. I'm sorry, Sarah. If I could think of any other way, I'd... I hope when you've calmed down, you'll understand. I wouldn't hold your breath. Away in a manger. Oh, David, shut up. Pardon me for feeling Christmas, eh? Hey, Bill reckons I'm going to get loads of work over the Christmas period. Well, that's good. We need every penny we can get. Especially now Mum's chucking us out on the street. Be so dramatic. Said you could go when you were ready. Yeah, as long as it's by the end of the week. You've just got big plans for your bedroom. Do you know it's always been the same in this house? Worse he behaves, the more he gets what he wants. It's not like that at all. Hello? He skives off school so you get him a car. He tries to ruin our wedding and we're the ones getting chucked out. Show some compassion, Sarah. Not as if he did it on purpose. Oh, yeah, right. Anyway, the world doesn't revolve around you, you know. You're married now. Time you started making your own way in the world. Yeah, Mum's made a decision, Sarah, so you're just going to have to deal with it. It's going to be good. 
You know, place for our own, proper family. You see, isn't he a little rare sunshine? Oh, David, shut up! It's what you said. You know, just the three of us, eh? Yeah, I know. But I, I just wanted it when we were good and ready, not like this. Well, I think you'll find something cheap. I mean, on them grim estates, yeah, but I mean, if you don't mind petrol bombs and packs of dogs. Do you know, I should have acted like a total psycho nut job. Then he'd be the one being chucked out. You know, standing here, listening to you bickering, makes me realise I did the right thing. Hiya. It makes me feel ancient seeing these two. They're just like young adults. Ima imagine how I feel. How was the flight? I bet you're knackered, aren't you? Oh, I'm okay at the moment. A jet lag will kick in later, probably. Yeah, I'm taking them back to mine. You can have a bit of a rest. Oh, well, do you want me to stick Cal on first? Have a cup of coffee? Fair. Uncle Stephen's come all the way from Canada. I think he deserves a bit better than Fresh Goes Bargain Instant. I've put coffee machine on. <sighs> I'm out. How thoughtful. Yeah, well, I do my best. Oh, well, they may seem like young adults, but they're still bicking like a couple of kiddies. Come over here and do some colouring in for your Uncle Stephen. Hey, what's oh. going to draw for me? Spaghetti heat. Oh, oh that's fast. <laughs> oh, Mum's cheese stinks worse than David's socks. Well, it's parmas on your morning, it's supposed to. Yeah, well, I'm not touching it. Oh, stop whinging, just use some rubber gloves. Oh, my mum tried making lasagna once. The pasta all stuck together and the sauce tastes like wallpaper paste. Oh. I'll show you how to make it if you like. Oh, no, you're right, girl. I don't know how to cook very much. A bit cack handed. That's why you became a builder, isn't it, love? Yeah, you see, this cheese, Jason. It's got a bigger IQ than you. Not all of us can be an evil genius, can we? Ah, <laughs> told him. Sarah, you can't use those. I was cleaning the drain out in them this morning. Oh, my goodness. You know, at this rate, we'll be lucky to survive this meal. Oh, this looks great. I suppose you'll get sick of pasta when you get to Italy. Oh, so when are you going? Boxing day. Are you off on holiday? Uh, no, my uh, company's setting up an office in Milan. Oh, mm -hmm. I've always wanted to go to Italy. No, ah, you'd love it. I spent the last year getting to know it, and I couldn't decide whether to set up in Milan or Turin. Mm, so, lots of trips to help you decide, eh? No, that's a tough job. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> do you know I've heard of Turin? Winter Olympics last year. It's off that program, innit? You know, the one about Jesus. Are you thinking about the Turin mm, trial? That was it, yeah. Yeah, the cloth in his grave, it was amazing. It was dead old and everything. <laughs> yeah, if we put a tea towel over your head, Jason, and then ironed it, we'd get the same thing, imprint in your face. <laughs> Funny. Do you know I've heard Milan's, like, dead chic and that? Mm. It's got it all. I mean, there's the Duomo Cathedral for your culture, there's San Siro if you feel like a bit of footy, brilliant restaurants. You know, there's people rising around on Vespers. Oh. And uh, the women. Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the furthest I ever get is Liverpool. In fact, I don't even go there now, do I? Well, there's nothing to stop you from travelling, you know, working abroad. Independence will do you good. Do you reckon? Well, give him a chance, he's only 16. Yeah, well, I'm nearly 17. Yeah. You got loads of time. Took me a while to find my way in the world. I don't even know what I want to do, though, or even where I want to be. I thought you were happy working in the salon. Oh, no, I am, Gran, and thanks for the opportunity. It's just, I always thought that one day I'd get a little bit further than end at street, that's all. Mm. Ah, <clears throat> listen, I'm going to the shop to get more wine. Anyone want anything? Ooh, I could just go a brandy snap. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, hold on, legs, this lad. <laughs> You've never had a brandy snap in your life. Yeah, well, I don't mind eating them in December. It's Christmas food, isn't it? <laughs> well, I could uh, come with you if you like. Keep mm. you company. Mm. I could come with you if you like. Keep you company. I was saying? Oh, come on, he's been kissing Uncle Stephen's backside all night. Two-faced get. Oh, now, Sarah. Now, David is trying to make a real effort. Why can't you? Oh, yeah. Your mother be so impressed. I see you sitting on a wall drinking wine out of a carrier. But... If it weren't for though, just for a look on her face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she sometimes reminds me of one of those small, bad-tempered dogs with sharp teeth. Yeah, a bit annoying, always snapping. Yeah, you know, on your ankle, can't get rid of her. <laughs> you can shake on your leg as hard as you like, but she's never going <laughs> to give up. <laughs> Still, in in a way, it's a good thing. Because I know probably most parents would have told they'd bin me off by now. Sure. You're really giving her a run for her money this year, huh? I admit it, I've been a total pain. What was that about anyway? What do you know? Um, no. It's, uh, as though I don't belong somehow, or like I'm wrong, or I'm in the wrong place, I don't know. No. I remember feeling like that when I was your age. No, it's me, I just don't fit in with them, really. 
No, I never have. Bethany! Two minutes or I'm going without you! You know, you shouldn't make threats, Sarah. You can't carry out. Mum, is Uncle Stephen the chairman or does he have, like, partners and that? Uh, don't know. It's his own company. Yeah, I know, but is he the boss or does he have to toe the line like everyone else? Well, he owns the whole company, dirt thicko. Yes, but there is such thin as shareholders, Sarah, not that you'd know. I don't know. You'll have to ask him. The only one of us with any money and the only one David's interested in. Oh, I wonder why. Well, maybe it's something to do with having a working brain and being alive. Yeah, just take that. Loser! David! <laughs> Just hand your dirty crocs to Sarah. And you know, if Stephen was here, be all smiles and charm. And, oh, Stephen, you're so interesting. Oh, Stephen. Sarah. Not happy when he's kicking off, and you're not happy when he's charming the birds from the trees. Can't your poor brother do anything, right? Yeah? Thanks. My purse and my mobile are locked away, so I don't even waste your time looking. It's nice, this Roy, who owns the calf, is really into organic stuff. So, come on. Ain't you got oak clever to say to me? Well, uh, yeah, how about how lucky we are to have a calf like this on his doorstep? Mm-hmm. I've counted the knives and forks. That's just one of my many fans. So, what did you do to upset her? I just sent a couple of texts, really. It's a bit of a daft joke. Not many people seem to be laughing these jokes at around here a bit thick. People are the same everywhere. Maybe you should look at yourself, not them. Well, it's all I ever do, look at myself. I mean, I listen when my mum's going on at me and when Sarah's going on at me. Stop it, David. Now, what do you want, really want, from your life? It's time to take a step back and think about the sort of person you want to be. Well, when people are going on at me, I do think that Maybe I am, you know, a mentalist or psychotic or something. You're okay, David. Yeah, well, I hate them all so much. I think you do. No, I know I do. I mean, all Sarah seems to do is go on as though I'm some sort of spawn of the devil. She's your sister. Well, it's part of the job. You know, I could really get used to this nice, quiet family life. No slamming doors, no arguments, no yelling. Uh, boy needs a hobby and David is winding you up. Yes, well, it's very nice to get a break from it. I'm just being his friend and if that's what it takes. Well, I think it does, yes. I mean, the truth is the only real friend he has is... Um... Well, I know this is sad, but... Uh, the only real friend he has is me. And Mum, of course. I mean, maybe that's just how it has to be at the moment. You know, kids. If anybody upset him... I... No. It's tougher than you think. And bright. He'll be OK. We'll sort him out. Will we? In a flash. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, your mother just has a minor skin irritation. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Oh. Ah, not quick enough, sucker. Yeah, change the record. Oi. I invented them moves, so watch it. You weird looking little klepto. Toast, Jason. You're all right, gay. I'm going to get off. The builder keen to get to work. Things have changed since I was here last. No, it's just to get to Roy's while Bill Zay buys me a fry up. There you go. Oh, thanks, Dave. Two minutes, Beth. Toast, Sarah, David. Yeah. I tell you what, I'll make it. You sit down. Oh, stop it, David. You're freaking everyone out now. Well, you know what they say about gift horses. Right, I'll see you at lunch. Oh, um, Mum, could you? No, it's okay. You get off. I'll take Beth to school. Are you sure? Uh, I'll go with you. I like that. Oh, thank you very much. That'd be great. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, where's mine? Get lost, will you? See you, Poppycock. <laughs> thank you, my love. <laughs> no sugar? What's in it instead? Arsenic? Laxatives? No, it's just tea and milk. Oh, hello, lovey. Uh, you'll have a brew, won't you? Uh, no, I'm fine. Just wondered if you can spare David. Oh, yes, go on. It's nearly his dinner time anyway. Lunch, kiddo? Well, I call it dinner, but if it's free, yeah. 
See ya. All right. Great. He gets his dinner bought for him again, and I get to scrub sinks. <sighs> I mean, it's, it's not that I miss my dad, really. It's, it's the fact that I'm living in a house full of women. You know, there's, there's my mum there, there's Sarah, Bethany, and Graham's always there as well. Where's Jason? <laughs> Please. I've got more intelligent conversation off me rabbit, <laughs> even after it croaked. <laughs> Look, I'll be honest. Some of the things you put your mother through... Are... Oh, she been saying? Just the truth. I mean, stuff you've done, how bad things have got. Well, yeah, I know. I mean, ever since that car crash, I sort of scared her. I keep telling her I'm fine, though. Well, you're her son, you know? She nearly lost you. I mean, that's not something a parent can just shrug off. Maybe. Look, I know how complicated your relationship is. What are your plans, David? How do you mean? For the future, what do you what do you want to do with your life? Mm hmm. Salon's all right, I suppose. Look, you know I'm uh, opening this new office in Milan. I'm going to be there about three months setting it up. Yeah. Why don't you come with me? What's well, my mum put you up to this? No, I haven't mentioned it to her yet. I wanted to see what you thought first. Now, it wouldn't be a holiday, you know. I need someone in the office to liaise with my US customers, and I'm gonna be back and forth to Canada, so, you know, I could use someone on site to give me the heads up on any problems. Much so I'd be like your assistant? If you like, yeah. Where would I live? With me. I've run an apartment. <laughs> so you'd be on suicide watch instead of my mum? Not at all. Like I said, I'm going to be back and forth to Canada. This is mad. Why? Think of it as a fresh start. A big apartment, right in the middle of the city. Great bars, restaurants, you know, skiing and snowboarding, just a few hours away. This is a chance for you to run your own life. Can you start again? Milan. Me. So hang on, let me get this straight. I get a job with a decent wage. No, fairly lousy wage, but you can live on it. Right, okay. But I get in an apartment and maybe one of those little Vespers to go <laughs> scooting about on. So it's a deal? Are you sure my mum's not put you up to this just to sort of like get rid of me? I told you she doesn't know anything about it. Right, well fine, yeah, it's a deal. But I'm still gonna have a clear it with her first. Oh, trust me. Kill off my bags packed and out the front door before you can say arrivederci. <laughs> Hi, Phil, red or white? I'll sit with Bervis, all right? Look, I hope you're going to use a glass when you're at the table, please. Do you want me to have a tent upstairs for three? It's fine here. Hey, now, you two. I want a nice, quiet meal tonight, all right? Yeah, you know, I'm just trapped well. Right, Gubbs here. Oh, crack it. Good lads! Gail, Stephen! Up. Won't be a sec. No. It's very kind of you, Stephen. But after what he's been through. Oh. Yeah, I honestly think it's what he needs. You know, he's got to spread his wings, Gail. Right? I think he feels a bit smothered here, that's all. For all his talk, he's a vulnerable kid. I mean, what if it's too much for him? Who's to know out there? Well, that's the point, isn't it? I mean, he'll be 17, Gail. You know, he's got to stand on his own two feet. Yeah, besides, there's a couple of guys I'm bringing out from Canada. I'm not much older than him. Yeah, he'll be fine. Still, I... Well, look, the alternative is him staying here, unhappy and angry. You know, he needs a change. If not, then what? What are you two talking about? It's freezing out here. We won't be long. You go on in. So you think I smother him? No, I just... I just think he's a mixed-up kid who needs some sort of direction. A new start. Away from everything that's happened here. Look, I'll buy him an open return ticket. And the minute he gets sick of it, he can get on a plane straight back. And you really think this is the answer? Honestly, 
I think it'll be the making of him. Right, chap. <laughs> the answer's yes. Great. What's the yes? Have we missed something? Uh, pass the noodles, sunshine. Yeah, oh, well oh. done. Go we have noodles. a little family announcement to make. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to live in Milan with Stephen. What? Well, it's news to me as well. Milan? Yeah, it's in Italy, Jason. You know, the country that looks like a boot. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, what a surprise. <laughs> You're not kidding. So he's going to live in Italy with you? Yeah. Well, it'll be great, what? I mean, I'll have a new apartment, big job. I can't wait. Oh, thanks, Graham. Oh. Do you want um, red or white, Sarah? It'll be three months to start with while I get the place set up. I need an assistant, so I thought I might as well keep it in the family. Blimey. me. Leave this. Hey, it's not a holiday. He's gonna have to work and work hard. There's a lot to do. Hey, come on. It's time to let go. I know. Oh, relax, Mum. I'll be fine. What's your Italian like, David? Perfecto. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can learn, can't I? I mean, there's all CDs you can get now. Yeah, most of what I'll be doing will be on the phone to my Canadian and US customers, so, so that's not really a problem. Hang on. He acts like a deranged, spiteful weirdo for the last God knows how long, and he gets some fabulous new life in Italy. It's a wonderful opportunity, Sarah. Tony Road. I thought you'd be glad to get rid of the little devil, eh? Oh, Bill, shush. Yeah, and we get more room to ourselves here. Oh, I miss you too, Jess. Oh, he's just, he's wrong, he's not fair. Sarah, shut it. Are you sure this is what you want, David? Well, I think after everything that's happened, maybe it's exactly what I need. Been through such a lot this year. It's a big change. New job, new country, you'll have to make a load of new friends. Well, I'll just use my charm. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's a chance of a lifetime. Well, all I can say is good luck. You have my blessing. You will phone every day. <laughs> yes, Mother. <laughs> oh, I can't get my head round this. Do you know, I'd like to propose a toast. Don't you dare. <laughs> to my grandson on his wonderful new adventure. Thank you. To David. David! To David! <laughs> yeah, good luck, mate. Especially fried rice, anybody? Any chance that coffee, Sarah? Yeah, in a minute. She knows how I'm fixed. When did she ask you for that coffee? I'll tell you, 25 minutes ago when she first sat down, I wonder she's gasping. Go on, get it now. No point. Yeah, Boy so wonders onto it. We get quite a lot of customers coming in that are worried about the weight, like yourself. And I thought, well, why don't we give them a selection? <sighs> Look, yeah, come on, forget the this jealousy. You can see he's really booked choice. his ideas up already. Yeah, wouldn't you? Sarah, this trip to Italy is just a chance for him to get over the past. First rule of childcare. First rule of anything. You don't reward bad behaviour. David has acted like a vile, no, no, nasty sh brat. And what's Uncle Stephen done? He's come here, he's patted him on the head, and he's given him this golden ticket. I mean, no wonder he's sucking up to the customers. One more week of uh, milk, no sugar, and he's out of here. Yes. And he's out of your hair as well, have you thought of that? I mean, he gets a job and you get some peace. And you get to stop in your own home. I mean, come on. That is a win-win situation, isn't it? Hey, Liz. Yeah, four o'clock. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I can see what we've got available Monday. Stephen, my man. Hey. What was it? Uh, root perm, cut and blow? Uh, no thanks. I'm just looking for Mum. Ah, oh, she's out. Me dispiace. Hey, hey you've been practicing. <laughs> well, yeah, of course I have. I'll be fluent by April. <laughs> Anyhow, I think she's in Rover, so I'll bob across. Good man. Two foxy coats on an armchair. What's that? A country and western song. <laughs> <laughs> What's she like? She's one of Mel's mates. She'll be alright, Moose. Oh, it's you. Abby, this is my twin, Daryl. Yeah, I know. I got the looks and the brains. Daryl, this is Abby. You don't look like a plod. And I do. I'm undercover. Alright. Oh, this is David from next door. Alright, David from next door. You ready? Uh, word of warning, girls. I won't fall for me too hard. I just won't be around to pick up the pieces. My heart or your teeth? 
Well, it'd be a heart, definitely. Why, where are you going? Oh, did you have to ask? He's running away to join the circus. I'm heading up an international sales outfit. <laughs> it's outdoor wear in Milan, Italy. As opposed to Milan Blackburn. <laughs> Come on, we're wasting valuable drinking time. I would invite them over, but the international salesman can't get served, yeah? Bless. Over a dirty handsome. Ciao, Bella. All on your lonesome. Beth's upstairs. You've been drinking. Just high on life. You know, it's a shame you're in here babysitting, cos me and Daz are off into town later. We're gonna hit it large. Might be my last chance before I jet off. Don't hold your breath. Was that an idol threat, Sarah? No, just a word of advice. I wouldn't pack my suitcase just yet. Stephen will see sense before next week. How's that? Because I'll make him. You? Beth's got a better chance of spiking his plans. You've made it too obvious, Sarah. You're jealous. Your credibility's well blown. Besides, what are you going to say that's going to make him change his mind? Well? Well, I'm hardly going to tell you, am I? You're pathetic, you know that. You talk the talk, Sarah, but you can't walk the walk and Stephen spotted that straight up. All Stephen spotted was you sucking up to him. He looked at you with your dreary married life and your dreary little semi and thought, the most exciting thing she's ever done would get knocked up at 12 and even that were an accident. You've coasted the rest of your life, Sarah. You've had handouts from Mum, handouts from Jason, nice little cushy job from Gran. There's no fire in your belly, is there? There's nothing there worth employing. Right. What makes you think you're such a good bet? Because I know I am. I've got this job because I'm hungry for it. I deserve success. I mean, I, I don't just read about it. And I will trample on anybody that tries to stop me from taking that. Oh, I know that. Because we've all been on the receiving end of it. But you know, there's a saying. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. So you better watch your back because I am stronger. And I'm just as hungry as you. David, I thought you said you wanted toast. Yeah. It's cold. Call her my five. David's toast is cold. Don't move it, Mum. I'll draw around it in white chalk. Jace! Make sure Bethany brushes her teeth! Yeah, you want to scream that a bit louder in my ear, Sarah? Hangover? Better not have hangover. I'm just knackered, that's all. So where did you and Daryl get to last oh, night? Out. Sarah, I'll put the kettle on, will you, for your gran and Stephen? Well, I'll do that. Save you, Stephen. Your golden ticket out of here. You're wasting your time. Come in. David's got the kettle on. Oh, David, you are a good lad. Hey, your grand says you can come into town with me this morning. She says you need a decent suitcase. He's working. No, I'll manage for an hour. You want me a hi-fi and computer fit in the suitcase? My computer. Well, then can I get a computer for Christmas? Your suitcase is for Christmas. I hope you look surprised when you open it. Oh, a suitcase, Grand, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was Sarah not a morning person? Well, she's not much of a person any time, really. No, no. <laughs> David, get in here and sweep my client's hair up. Well, I'm going shopping with Stephen today, or had you forgotten? Stephen's not here yet. Hi, Stevie. Yeah, well, I wouldn't look so smug if I were you. You can buy as many suitcases as you like. Doesn't mean you're going to be using them. No? No. Why? Because I'm not going. Yeah, that's right. Tell me, have you got an ingenious yet subtle master plan, Sarah? I wonder what it could be, maybe sabotage or subterfuge? Well, I have, actually. Wipe that smug grin right off your face. Hey, 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 who's sweeping up in here, huh? 
Oh, hello, love Hi. Uh, still okay if I borrow? Uh, yes, but please, just there and back. No, dawdling. We're really busy today. Come on, Sarah, you'll have to sweep up and get Mrs Appleton her coffee. She's been under that dry half an hour. She'll be parked. Oh, and it's uh, a drop of milk and two sweeteners for Maureen Appleton. And she's partial to ginger biscuits. She loves me. Attention to detail. That's what they like. We'll make a manager of you yet. <laughs> right. Thank you. Stephen and David back yet? David working, has he? Oh, please, Sarah, this attitude is just getting boring. I mean, just when David's been happy and positive, I don't need you to turn into the being the difficult one. Just make an effort, please. Right, I'll see you later. <laughs> Give us your house key, I'll drop it off for you. No, that's all right. I don't want my boss running my errands, do I? It's not for you, it's for your grand. It's a present to you, remember? Well, you're coming in, you know, women like to see you shopping. <laughs> I'm in enough trouble getting you back this close to lunchtime. Well, you won't get any grief off me gran, it'll be off our Sarah. Hey, tell her I have some sandwiches for him ready for dinner. <laughs> grief. <laughs> Hola. Oh, hello. Oh, right, it's about time he decided to sort that mop of yours out. <laughs> I think I'd let you anywhere near this. Not a chance. <laughs> Just hear about the, uh, the money. The money? 20 quid from last night. Yeah, I, I've not had a chance to get to a cash machine yet, though, mate. Oh, are you joking? I well fancied a curry for me dinner. What, you get free kebabs on tap and you wanted to pay for a curry? <laughs> What's he owe your money for? Because I borrowed it, all right. Can't he speak for himself? No. Oh, you are, Tom. No, I. I owe a bit of money to the bank. Can I have some? No. <laughs> and you can pay me back later. Yep. Right. Cheers. See ya. See ya. Hi, ma'am. Hello, sweetheart. Come to the pub. Oh. Oh, um, Stephen's got signies on at ours, so... Oh, even better. Hey, I could go to Roy's, get some cakes. Cakes? Oh, yeah, for everyone. Would you fancy, Mum? Uh, anything. Uh, flapjack. Yeah, go on, I'll have the same. David? Me? Yeah, cake I'm paying. Uh, well, half a dozen donuts then. Donut, right. All right, well, listen, I'll see you guys back at the house then. Uh, yeah, all right then. Come on, sweetheart. Bye. Bye. See ya. So, what's the game then, Sarah? What game? Can't your sister buy you a donut? No. No, well, I love it then. No, it's for David, from me. That one's got my name on it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sweet, this is my second. That that slice. Oh, <laughs> you know, we're only joking when I said I wanted half a dozen. Jam or iced? Well, which one's poisoned? David! <laughs> So, Stephen, you get to spend a lot of time in Italy? Well, more than I'll need to once David's installed. Do you not like it, though? Well, I see is the airport, a meeting room and the apartment every couple of weeks. Oh, that's a shame. We were hoping you'd get to spend a lot of time there so we could come and see you. Oh, I get it. Well, you're welcome any time. All of you. David's apartment has loads of space. Oh, sounds lovely. You know, she doesn't really want to come, Stephen. Of course she does. Me and all. In fact, you walk in one day and you'll find the whole lot of us <laughs> squeezing there. No, no, we won't. Oh, you'll like that. <laughs> you won't know. You won't be there to see it. What's going on with you? What do you mean? David's busy mate. Either you've been swapped for your identical twin, or someone slipped something in your vanilla slice. As if. Mm. Oh, she can be lovely when she wants to be. Right, I'm going to get off to work. You get off and all. I'll, uh, I'll finish here. I'm off this afternoon. You sure? Yeah, go on. Thanks. And thank you for being nice to David. I've decided I'm not going to worry about him. You know what he gets up to, cos, well, he's going to be abroad, isn't he? Well, it's not our problem if he ends up in some foreign prison. For what? Mum, you must have noticed. What? He's in a foul mood one minute, then he's buzzy, then he's down again. And your point is? And he owes money to Daryl again. My gran had to pay him off. If you've got something to say, say it. Well, at least he'll be far away from Bethany next time he slips up. David is not taking drugs. He never has. He says. What happened to Bethany scared him to death. He's up and down because he's leaving home. What's your excuse? <laughs> oh, Daryl, you dirty dog. That's 
things. Oh, that smells like Wait. a dead animal. <laughs> oh, 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 just get That's that kid. Oh, can I let you go early as well? Um, no, she uh, left a purse here. Not that she'll have any cash left after paying off David's debt to win. Oh, they're in good moods. The teenage lads, they find daft things funny. It's normal. Buona Martina. Eh? Buona Martina. Oh, yeah, I heard. Next week you'll be in Milan, won't you? Yeah, and I won't be sweeping up outside the back street hairdressers again. You know, Gran, it's a bit of a shame, actually, that you won't be there this Christmas. Mm. You could have had a nice little send-off meal for me and Uncle Steve. Hey, yeah. Aren't you the lucky one? I bet you're dead jealous, aren't you? Oh, no. You know, to be honest, I don't really look on it as losing a brother, just getting Beth in his bedroom back. <laughs> well, you must have some stamina to go out partying after this lot. Hey, stamina is for marathon runners, darling. Anyway, we've got other ways of making sure the fun doesn't stop. Other ways? Yeah. Other ways? Naughty, naughty. How about when you finish, you come and meet up with us? Because this party will be going long into the night. Well, do you mind if I ask my husband? He's the uh, really good looking, really jealous builder over there. Don't! <laughs> Who needs a tree? <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, your uh, street cred's so shot right now, Daryl. Come to help us trim the tree, David? No, I'd uh, just come to see if Daryl were coming out, but didn't realise he already had done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so where's your hubby gone? To the loony bit? What? He <laughs> must be mental to let someone as gorgeous as you out at night. He trusts me. Oh, yeah? Goody two shoes, are you? Most of the time. <laughs> and you know the best thing? Go on, tell me. When I do decide to be bad, nobody sees it coming. Everything all right, Sarah? Yeah, fine. Is that like giving you trouble? Oh, nothing I can't handle. <laughs> um, listen, um... <clears throat> You know, you said you had something to help you party all night. Yeah. You want some? Well, it is Christmas, nearly. So all goody tissues after all. Outside. Uh, where are you going? Uh, I'll just be a minute. Stephen's gone out with uh, Jason. Yeah, I saw them earlier. Good night. Yeah, it was really, really good. Brilliant, in fact. Yeah? Yeah. No, David? Go round to Daryl's. Hate to think what he's getting up to around there. Sarah, I can't keep him locked up all night. He's nearly 17. And before you ask, you seem perfectly OK. Right? Chatty? As near as David gets to being good company. Sure sign he's up to something then, isn't it? Well, I know. Do you want chocolate? I just made Sarah one. No, I'm... bed. You all right? Yeah, I'm just tired, that's all. What? Well, he's not exactly bright and chatty now, is he? It is late. Mum, he's as high as a kite one minute. Next, he's dragging himself off up to bed. Will you stop going on, Sarah? Another week and he'll be out of your hair. And you start. Both of you. Look, all I'm saying is, you work in a medical centre. Just talk to somebody. Think You must see enough people on stuff in there. I'm sure you're wrong. I'm going to bed. I'm just going to wait for Chase. Good night. Night, love.
done today, Maria? Oh, we're going to have to scan just to make sure everything's as it should be. Right, will they give you a picture? I don't know that there's that much to take a picture of at the moment. A uh, picture of the bambino, see? Uh, see, David, yeah. All I can remember is how cold the jelly is on his stomach. Oh, don't. Anyway, better go and meet and Liam. Bye. All right, bye, love. Oh, ciao, Maria. Oh. Uh, ciao, David. <laughs> Right, now, milk coffee, a uh, couple of packets of biscuits, whatever you fancy. All right. Good lad. Oh, do you know he's done it again? I might as well tell him he can keep them. What's that, lover? Well, you know them scissors that you bought me for my birthday? Well, he keeps pinching them and hiding them in his drawer. Well, I better get him a pair for his birthday, then he'll have his own. Me and my go and fetch him back. Oh, well, grand the thing is, I mean, you know, it's his private things in there. Oh, good gracious, I'll do it then. Look, if he wants to be private, he shouldn't borrow from people. Oh, silly me. No, no, I can't see them that here. Oh, hello, what are these? Let's see, let's have a look. Oh, no. What? Oh, Sarah, oh, no. No, drugs. Is that what they are? Ecstasy tablets. Ecstasy tablets in my salon? Please, don't tell me, Mum, because you'll be furious. Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Sarah. What am I supposed to do, turn a blind eye? No, absolutely no. Gwen, they might not even be his. Well, whose are they then, mine? No, oh, I don't know. Well, of course they're his. What were they doing in that drawer? Right, OK, we're restocked. And this should get us through to tomorrow unless one of those old biddies starts binging. <laughs> What's up? Would you like to tell me what these are? Where'd you get them? No, I asked the questions, David. What are they? Well, they're ease. And I'm guessing you already know that, otherwise you wouldn't be asking me. Yes, and what were they doing in your drawer? They weren't. Yes, they were. I found them there myself just now. They were, David. Well, I didn't put them there. I've never even seen them before. Well, who did then? I don't know, Graham, but it's not me. Oh! David! <sighs> well, let's go and see what your mother thinks about this, shall we? Come on. I've told them they're not mine. So whose are they? Well, I said that. And I said I don't know. Right, I'm, I'm going to put this tea on. Right, you go upstairs, get changed, sweet. After all your promises. Which, silly me, I actually believe this time. Yeah, well, silly me and all, because so did I. Somebody has set me up. Who? Your gran? Your sister? One of the customers? You were caught red-handed, David. At least admit it. Mum, I'm not going to admit it, all right, when it's not the truth. They're not mine. Like you had no idea what happened to Bethany when she was lying in hospital at death's door. What, am I never going to be able to forget well, that? Well, I know I'm not going to forget it. I'll tell you something else and all. What? We'll show these to Stephen, see what he has to say. Oh, now, nah, come on. Look, he was going to take you to Italy. Yeah, I know that, Gran, but he's not going to if he thinks they're mine, no, is he? No, of course he's not. Because what does it tell him about your state of mind? My state of mind? But you can't be trusted on your own because of what you might do next. Mum, please don't tell him. Then I'd be lying as well and I'd be as bad as you. I'm not bad. Do you know why I'm not bad? Because they're not mine. So whose are they? I don't know, Gran. So you're saying these aren't yours, even though they were found in your drawer? He'll say anything. Well, they're not mine, all right? Will nobody believe me? Well, that's the point, isn't it? Why should anybody believe you? Because it's the truth. They're not mine. I've never seen them before. So whose are they, David? Yeah, whose are they, David, if they're not yours? I don't know. Look, we had an agreement. I'd take you to Italy, but only if you behave yourself. Yes, which I have been doing. Which I was never happy about in the first place, taking him off to a strange city where anything could happen. But you said it, Mum. You said I could go. And now I'm saying you can't. Oh, why? Because of these? Because you can't be trusted. And I'm not just talking about your lying. I'm talking about... How you tried to kill yourself. But I didn't, and I'm still here. So you didn't try and kill yourself? Is that what you're saying, David? That it was just a game to spoil my wedding day? No, what I'm saying... What is it? Nobody's saying it was a game. But you've just proved that you've not altered, that nothing's changed, so how can I let you go off on your own? Wait, well, it's not even up to you. No, I think you'll find it is. Well, if your mother doesn't agree, then it's... How can I let you go after everything that's happened? Oh, look, I'm not going to commit suicide. You tried it once. Oh, Sarah. Oh, yes. You need watching and you need looking after, as you've just proved. These drugs just make it obvious that nothing's changed. I'm going. No, you're not. David, I'm sorry. 
Look, all you lot, you're all against me, the lot of you. Because you don't give us any choice, David. It was a sincere offer. I had every intention of taking you to Milan. What, so now what? You're saying no? Now I'm saying no. And I'm saying it not just because of these, but because of everything you've done in the past. And because I'm scared to death of what you might do in the future. You're not fit to be on your own. And I wouldn't be a fit mother if I let you. You wore it. Me what, sorry? What do you think? You fitted me up. Do you remember my wedding day? When you drove your car into the canal and afterwards I asked you, did you do it on purpose to spoil everything for me? Do you remember what you said? What? You just smiled. So now look. That's what I'm doing. Where are you off? Where's the rovers? 30 minutes. 40 minutes max. If you need anything, call me. I'll come right back. I've got my mobile switched on. I'll be fine. I can see through you, David. I know fragility wrapped up in bravado when I see it. A Christmas theme to go eat delusions, eh? It's brilliant, though. Sarah, keep an eye on David, will you, while I'm out? I'll tell Jason to meet him for a drink. Yeah, and I don't need a childminder. I'll bring you some chips back. Well. Nah, sticky chips, girl, just a couple of bags of smack will do. Oh no, don't get me anything, because I might slash my wrists to Wham's back catalogue. Don't joke about it, David. Go to the pub, girl. Oh, you might want to secure that window, because there's a nasty foot and a half drop outside if I decide to shut myself out. Maybe I should get Stephen to call Wham. Go for a drink. You deserve it. 40 minutes, Max. See you down there, Sarah. Poor David. It's a failure in everything. Can't even top himself without screwing up. She actually told me what it was. You mean him actually ate an old guinea pig? <laughs> it's all on film. Stop <laughs> there thinking about it. Oh, give me good old British kebab and chips any day of the week. Kebabs are Turkish, aren't they? <laughs> uh, Mum, some horrible and slimy in the kitchen. Oh, no, sorry, it's just David. Sarah. Do you want any chips, David? No, I'm not hungry. Good, because he haven't got you any. Hey, Stephen's going to show us a DVD of his round the world trip. Yeah, I'm green with envy. Um, Got your kebab, a large one with extra chilli. It's probably on a come down. Oh, dip. For goodness sake, snap out of it, David. Well, Grant, she's stitched me up and got away with it. Oh, we'll change the record, can't you? This has been my big chance to get out of this dump and she's ruined it. Yeah, well, you've only yourself to blame. No, I am. No, a few weeks ago we thought you were suicidal. Now you get caught with drugs. I don't do drugs. <laughs> What can we do for you? Well, Gail's cracking up the thought we won't all have a proper sit-down meal together at Christmas, so uh, she wants you and Bill to come over tonight. Oh, yes, that would be lovely, thank you. Yeah, well, I won't be there. I'm going out. Well, uh, make sure you tell your mother where you're going and uh, when you'll be back. All right, well, can I go now? Yes, you may go. He's still really upset. Yeah, well, he's not alone. Look, uh, am I too late for a haircut? Oh, we're all packed up, my love, for closing. No worries, it was just on the off chance. I'll do it. I know, listen, it's not urgent. Really. No, I, d I don't mind. Go on, Gran, I'll lock up afterwards. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, get your coat off. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Mm. I'd rather you than me, Matt. You really don't have to go out. Oh, I do. I'm running a bit low on the old Christmas spirit. Everyone would be pleased to see you. Yeah, right. They would. You should be here with your family. Where are you going? You can't just wander the streets on Christmas Eve. Well, I won't press my nose up against the window while you're eating, don't worry. Don't worry. Every minute you're away, I'll be wondering where you are, what you're doing. In case you've forgotten, Mum, which it wouldn't surprise me if you had, I'll be 17 tomorrow. So you'll see me when you see me. You know, I've never tried uh, eggnog. Quite excited. Yeah, your mum doesn't seem so keen. Yeah, she's setting her ways. I like trying anything new, just don't get really much opportunity to around here. You know, the uh, job I offered David's still open for someone willing to work hard who I can trust. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, would Jason be interested? I mean, it'd be a few months' trial, but after that. Oh, he's not the office type. But I could do it. Now, I'm fed up of washing pensioners' hair and waitressing. I've been praying for an opportunity like this. Yeah, I, I did consider asking, but I thought with Bethany... Well, I'm working all the hours anyway. Besides, Jason can look after her. <laughs> he doesn't strike me as the uh, house husband type. Oh, he's brilliant with Beth. And he wants what's best for me. Please, Stephen, I promise you, I would not let you down. Well, I suppose we could work out child-friendly hours. Oh, Stephen, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Oh... When do I start? Uh, after you run it past Jason, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I've already got this. Oh, you haven't? Yeah, I bought it last week, and to be honest, it's not that great. Well, it looked good on the packet. Yeah, well, they're hardly going to make it sound rubbish on the packet, are they? No, oh, well, I'm sorry. I'll fish out the receipt. Yeah. Well, what are you doing buying yourself DVDs the week before Christmas? I don't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, OK. I, um, I got this for you. Oh, thank you. No, no, I meant it's for Uncle Stephen. Oh. For me? What's this? Hi, uh... Hi, uh... I just thought for when you're doing, like, you know, Italian documents or sending emails or whatever. That's, uh, that's fantastic. My, uh, my Italian's a joke. <laughs> Creeping, is he? Too late. I got one for myself as well, but I had to take it back. Yeah, well, <clears throat> thanks. That's, uh, that's very kind. Where's Jason, then? <laughs> Oh, uh, he's popped round to his mum's. He'll be back in a minute. He got me some aftershave, you know. Mm, I know. I helped pick it out, so you be careful what you say. <laughs> he shouldn't go flinging his money about on me. Oh, that's all right. He only got it from the market. So, Billy, you're off over to Webbo's this year. You know, you'll miss Maureen. I've invited her for tea. David, please, will you grow up this year? Huh? Hey, up. Someone smells nice. <laughs> You know, the, uh, the Australian cricket team always start uh, a test match on Boxing Day. And so sometimes uh, they call Christmas Day uh, Test Match Eve. <laughs> 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 they play cricket in winter. Well, it'd, it'd be summer, wouldn't it? Well, it's just wrong, isn't it? I mean, they should just move Christmas to July. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, they could adjust their Christmas carols, you know, in the bright midsummer, uh, walking through a summer wonderland. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the tin of biscuits, Eileen. Jason, come on, are we going to do this? I don't know. Do you not think we're rushing into this a bit? Do you know what I heard once? The only safe decision is the riskiest. Hey, up, look. It's Paolo Maldini. <laughs> what are you two whispering about? The real meaning of Christmas. That's what she says. 
It's an occasional table. And he said, well, what is it the rest of the time? <laughs> well, I didn't know, did I? Well, do you, I like it when he gets things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> By the time they thought a grand piano meant just like a really, really good one. <laughs> I did not say that. That is a total lie, that. I can't believe it. Oh, oh what are you going to get Bethany piano lesson? Oh, um, yeah, um, I might do. I'm thinking about it. Well, I do think it's important that she's musical, you know, like me. You? Well, I'm a good singer, aren't I? You can sing. <laughs> Better than you are. <laughs> All right, then, let's go have a singing competition right here, right now. Go on, you go pick a song. I'm not going to pick a song. Well, <laughs> well, maybe we should think about getting Beth some piano lessons again, eh, sir? I thought you'd already spoken to somebody. Well, I did, yeah, but... I don't know, she seemed a bit boring. I thought we might look for someone a bit more... Continental. Ooh, oh. Continental. Don't you think, Chase? Yeah, maybe. <gasps> Only four more days of him sniping at me all the time. He'll snipe even more when we tell him what we've done. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on his stupid little face. So when are we going to tell him? Well, Stephen's coming round at dinner time to say goodbye, so... As good a time as any. Yeah, get it over in one go, eh? Plus, David gets humiliated in front of everyone. Sarah, go easy on him, all right? Well, I won't be saying a lot. I won't need to. Oh, I can't believe we need more food already. Mm -hmm. Right, what are you two plotting? Nothing. Don't worry. Can't be any worse than what she already has done. Stephen's cutting it a bit fine, dropping by before he goes. I hope he doesn't forget to come in and say goodbye. Who knows when we'll see him again? Yeah, well, I wouldn't have to say goodbye if it wasn't for her. I'd be leaving with him. Well, now it's me and Jason who won't have to. What? We don't have to say goodbye. Pardon me? Well, that job that Stephen offered David... I'm going to be doing it now. What? Since when? Christmas Eve. He asked me and I thought about it and we said yes. So, you're just up and leaving? Just like that? Mum, we only decided yesterday. We wanted to book a flight first and we did that this morning. Whoa, 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 so, so hang on. You're going to Milan instead of me? Yeah, next Sunday. We just can't wait. You planned all this. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You saw that I had something lined up that would be good for me. What's going on? Sarah's just told us that her and Jason are going to Milan, not David. What? You know, you'd just do anything you could to stitch me up, wouldn't you, Sarah? That's not true, David. Sarah's been very concerned about you. Yes, she has, my love. Honestly, she begged me not to tell your mum about them drugs. Oh, of course she did, Grant. I mean, it's all part of her act. Can't you see that? I, the... You lot have all been made for fools. Uh, if I thought that for a minute... I wouldn't have offered her the job. David, calm down. The way you didn't tell us earlier, I don't know. Yes, Stephen, why didn't you say anything? Well, like Sarah said, you know, we only talked about it for the first time on Monday. She needed time to think. I mean, she needed time to make it look like she was oh, thinking. what are you talking about, David? Look, I had Bethany to consider. I had to talk it over with Jason. Yeah, like Mr Yes Man's gonna say no. Oh, I am sorry if this has come as a shock. Yeah, sure. But it's just too good an opportunity to turn down. Yeah, you got that bit right. Oh, and you? Were you supposed to be watching out for me? Not looking for the first opportunity to screw me over. Why didn't you get me here earlier? Hope you're happy now. Do you know what, David? I've never been happier. Not since you became the bane of my life, anyway. And what about you being the bane of my life? Well, not to worry. Only four more days and I'll be gone forever. Yeah. With my job. Should have been a bit cleverer then, shouldn't you? You know, you're one evil little cow. Not the smartest one in the family after all, are you, David? Oh, I'll get you back for this. Oh, you should be proud. It's you I learnt it all from. 
Yeah, I had the meeting out my hand while you were ranting and raving. Sarah, he offered that job to me. Yeah, and why should you have it? Why should you nearly kill my daughter, wreck my wedding day and ruin everybody else's lives and then walk away with a big fat reward? Because I didn't do what he thinks I did. It was you. Which makes it all the sweeter. Milan has more designer shops than, like, anywhere in Europe. I don't mind you counting them as long as you're not going in them. <laughs> should give him the Weatherfield family shell suit look. I'm sure he'll fit right in. If we decide to stay on once we've settled in... What, after three months? You two can hardly get to end at street and back in English. You've no chance. Just shut it, David. Stop picking it up and he'll stop going on. Well, it's gonna be brilliant. It's gonna be a disaster. Oh, sorry, David, were you saying something? Only I'm just listening to my intensive Italian course. You missed out, David. Just leave it, all right? Yeah, it was so rubbish when you had the ticket. Was it, eh, David? Loser. Excuse me. You're just sad, the pair of you. No, I think you'll find that you're the sad one, actually. Oh, you were that, though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Ciao. Almost gave me a heart attack, you stupid prat. Yeah, well, maybe next time, eh? There won't be a next time, cos I'm not going to be here. It's not over yet. It's not what the ticket says. Now shift. You think you've already won, don't you? Loser. You know, you're not on the plane yet, you scheming little cow. Yeah, that's me, loser. So get over it. All right, Jason. Don't star, right? I'm not in the mood. Hey, listen, I've no axe to grind with you, mate. I'm in the same boat as you. You what? Stitched up by our Sarah. Listen, if you want to go off to a foreign country and sit at home all day and just babysit Beth while she's out practicing her Italian, then by all means, mate, go for it. What are you talking about? She's not stitching up anyone. And it's not going to be like that. Oh, yeah? Listen, she's put one over on the pair of us, Jason. Lying about her brother just so that she gets a trip. And then she's lied to you about how she swung it. She's as devious as the cum, and you know what? You can't see it. Because all she has to do, she smiles, she looks innocent, and then everybody believes her. Just shut it, all right? You've said enough. I feel sorry for you, Jason. Honestly, I do. Because one day, she's going to screw you just like what she has done me. And you know what, mate? It's a shame, because you're too thick to see it coming. I'm warning you, OK? Listen, all right? I I'm just saying it as a friend, because I like you, all right? What do I know, though? You, you just have a safe trip, yeah? Slipping away without saying goodbye. What do you want? Well, I thought you might like to apologise. <laughs> apologise? For what? Stitch your meal. For once in your life, you got exactly what you deserve. And you can't touch me now. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. We'll see. If you've done something... I just... Check your bags before you jet off. Have you put something in our bags? David! Well, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I mean, us druggies, we don't know what we're doing half the time. Pathetic! Yes, well, you started it, Sarah. I can't believe you've done this! Are well, you getting warm? Oh, warmer now. You didn't put anything in here, did you? Not telling. David! You know, it's a nice try, but it's not gonna work. Because you lost this time, and I know it's killing you. You won't last two seconds in Milan. Why do you have to be like this? Why can't you be a normal human being? What, like you, you mean? Tell me, Sarah, what is normal about telling tales and planting drugs out of spite? You nearly killed Beth. You nearly killed Jason. What did you expect? I thought you'd be happy to get rid of me. Well, I thought I would and all. And then I realised I'd be happier to see you suffer. Have you checked your passports? Yeah, they're fine. We will need some electric adapters, cos nothing we've got's gonna wear that. You hope you've not packed your power tools. You'll never get a cordless drill and a reciprocating saw through customs. Well, we'll just get the adapters from the airport. Yeah. They do things like that there. You got some money? 
Yes, we've changed all our savings into euros and then Stephen's going to meet us off the plane. Now, look, I know Stephen's generous, but uh, you won't take advantage, will you? Mum! Gail, I will get a job as soon as I get there. We won't be sponging off Stephen, don't worry. Hiya. Hi. Hiya, everything all right? Oh, they're very organised. I thought I'd bought you one of these. Oh, cheers, yeah. ma'am. Nice one. I've got one of them plug-in kettles at home if you want it. Uh, I think we'll be all right for a cappuccino, thanks. Well, are we going to get a decent cup of tea? That's the problem. Jace, they do have kettles <clears throat> in Italy, you know. Yeah, I know. I was just saying. I really didn't want to start an argument. We're not having an argument, are we? No. Um, why don't you put the kettle on, Jason, and make us a nice pot of tea? Yeah, good idea. While I spend as much time as I can with my gorgeous granddaughter. You promise you'll send me a postcard every week? Yeah. Well, you can always come back if you don't work out. Yeah, I know. She's cool, I'll give her that. Just change the record, eh, David? Jason, what do you think I am? Some sort of spaced-out druggie? Do you seriously think I'm just going to blow my chance to get out of here? Be careful, won't you? What do you mean, be careful? I mean, if David, we'll be fine. It can be dangerous. Only to himself. Did my ears be burning? What are you doing in there? Nothing. Sarah's just about to leave. So? I'm busy. I want to have a desperately unhappy life. You're all right, you, aren't you? Yeah, I know. Take the notice. He's still angry. You will be all right with him on your own, won't you? <laughs> of course I will. Don't you worry. I'm gonna go to mine first and then maybe yours or something. Do it. Oh, Sarah. Liz? Oh, I'm so glad we saw David. Yeah, he's not so bad, is he? Not so bad. It's a total nightmare. Give over, is your brother? Yeah, and if it was yours, you'd feel the same. I know he's done some stupid stuff, but he's not exactly had an easy time, has he? Jason, I have had exactly the same time as him, and look at me. I'm normal. So why were you so glad to see him then? Two of his nose in it. This was supposed to be his ticket out of here, and I took it off him. I planted the drugs on him. You're winding me up. I'm not. I got him off this bloke that came into the restaurant. Cost me like 30 quid, but it was worth every penny. What? He knows it was you. Of course he does. Where's the fun if he doesn't know that I won? Why'd you do it? To teach him a lesson. You gonna help me with these? So this isn't about us getting a new life, this is about you getting revenge on David? Jason, it's both. This, this is a fantastic opportunity. Why should David get it after everything he's done? Come on, baby, let's get you on the train. What, like trying to kill himself? Oh, it was a trick. He never tried to kill himself. So you say? I thought David was lying when he was telling me about the drugs. Now I find out he was telling the truth and you were lying he to me. He never tried to kill himself. How do you know? Because I know him. Can you just get on the train, please? Yeah. I can't believe it, you lied to me as well. Well, I thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? What, pleased? You stick to your own brother up. Why are you on his side? I'm not on anyone's side, Yeah, well, Sarah. you should be. You should be on my side. I'm your wife. I don't know who you are anymore. Oh, look, we can just talk about this once we get on the train. No. Can you just help me, please? No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no, OK? Why do you keep rushing me into everything, eh? You rush me into a wedding, you rush me through the ceremony, and now you want to rush me out to Milan. This has got to stop now. We need to talk. We can talk on the train. We're not going anywhere. Jason, why are you being like this? I have worked really hard to make all this happen. And now you, you're behaving like a spoiled child. Just please, Jason. Do you not understand, Sarah? There's other trains. We need to sort this out, please. Look, I've sorted it out. Why can't you just trust me? Look, if you love me, you will get on this train now. Okay. Can't go, OK? We need to get back. Look, if we get back, he's... Please, Jason, just please get on the train. Please, just get on the train. I can't go like this. Jason, please, if you don't get on this train right now, I mean it, that is it. Why would you want to spoil everything for us? 
This is our dream. It's a fresh start. This is your dream, not mine. So now you tell me. Yeah, great timing. What do you want from me? I want us to talk. Please, just get on the train. We can talk then, I promise. Jason, this is your last chance. Okay. Okay. Prepare yourself for a surprise. What's going on? Where's Sarah? Probably be at the airport by now. What happened? She planted the drugs on David. She what? You know what? She's proud of it. She conned Stephen into getting her a job and then she conned me into joining her. Why would she do that? Why? I wish I knew. Why did she force us into getting married? Why did she drag us off on our honeymoon when everything else was going on? I don't know why she does these things anymore. And I'm sorry, Gail, but I've had enough. If she wants a new life so badly, she can have it, but without me. Well, now isn't that a turn up for the books, eh? It seems Bob the Builder is a little bit dim, but at last he learns the truth. Oh, and any time you'd like to apologise, Gail, it's fine by me. She's gone to Milan with Bethany on her own. You're calling the girls looking a bit tarnished now, isn't she? Seems like you've backed the wrong horse, Mother. I can't believe it. Yes, well, you couldn't believe it when it was coming out of my mouth, could you? But let's face it, I don't think Jason's bright enough to make this one up, is he? Oh. Is that a look of disappointment because... Sarah's a lying little minx, or because I'm not a drug addict. I'm sorry. Yeah. I should think so, too. She shafted me, and she's lied to you. And it looks like she is leaving this country, so it's just gonna be me and you. And... I think you owe me. Wants them fine. Morning. Mm. Are you not going to work today? Too busy. Got a meeting with Colombian drug cartel in Rise at two. I've said sorry. What's that change? Still. There'll always be Weatherfield outside the front door. Day after that. The day after. The whole flaming year until another one rolls on. Are you going to work or not? Not. Because it's Liz McDonald's wedding and you can call and ask Gran if you don't believe me. I believe you. Oh, oh, you do? It's just a little bit late now. <laughs> <laughs> 